In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Ceilings by Lizzie McAlpin. If you like the video, please like and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment if there's a band or artist you might like to hear. Also, check out the Patreon, where you can join for as little as five bucks a month. And for this, you'll get a guitar pro file lesson to play along with, as well as a PDF to this lesson and a ton of others. Grab a guitar, grab a capo, let's play! For this lesson, the guitar is going to be in standard tuning, and we're going to have a capo here on the second fret. So when you tune up the guitar, this low E should be an F sharp. First off, let's go over the chords. We've got a C add 9. First finger on the 4th string 2nd fret, 3rd finger on the 5th string 3rd fret, and 3rd finger on the 2nd string 3rd fret. We're going to skip the low E string and play the 5th string and down. Next we've got an E minor 7. So we got our 1st finger on the 5th string 2nd fret. 2nd finger on the 4th string 2nd fret, and then your 3rd or 4th finger on the 2nd string 3rd fret. Next up, a G6. So whatever finger you currently have on that 2nd string 3rd fret, you can leave that there for most of the song. Uh, we'll have a 1st finger on the 5th string 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the 6th string 3rd fret, and then I've got my 3rd finger on the 2nd string 3rd fret. Next, we've got a D with an F sharp in the bass. First finger on the 6th string, 2nd fret. I'm muting the 5th string. We've got an open 4th string. 2nd finger on the 3rd string, 2nd fret. 3rd finger on the 2nd string, 3rd fret. And then I'm not playing the high E string. Next, we've got a E minor 11. Easiest way to think about this chord is if you were playing a C, but your first finger is going to be on the actual 5th fret, and the rest of your hand would be down here over on the seventh, actual seventh fret. So it's a first finger, first string, uh, second string, actual fifth fret, second finger, fourth string, actual sixth fret, third finger, sixth string, actual seventh fret, and then your pinky is going to be right up underneath it on the fifth string, actual seventh fret. Next, we've got a G major seven with an E in the bass going to be playing all the strings here. Low string is open. First finger is going to be on the 5th string 2nd fret, and the 3rd finger is going to be on the 4th string 4th fret past the capo. And then lastly we've got a B7 here in sort of this first position style. So we're going to skip the low E. We've got our first finger on the 4th string 2nd fret, first finger on the 5th string 2nd, I say 4th finger on the 4th string 1st fret, 2nd finger on the 5th string 2nd fret, third finger on the third string second fret, and our pinky on the first string second fret. All right, let's run through all the parts of the song. We're going to start with the intro. We're going to have a measure of C add 9. The strumming pattern for the majority of the song is just going to be a down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, with some accents on one. Uh, the song is going to be in 6-8, so we're, uh, we're accenting certain parts and we're also accenting the chord changes. So anyways, uh, a measure of C add 9, a measure of E minor 7, back to C add 9, then G6, to the D with an F sharp in the bass, back to C add 9, back to E minor 7, and then we've got that E minor 11 for two measures. So the intro is going to sound like... From there we get into the first verse. First verse is going to start with a measure of C add 9. A measure of E minor 7, back to the C add 9, a half measure of G6 and D with an F sharp in the bass, back to C add 9, E minor 7, and then two measures of the E minor 11. It'll sound like this.
From there it goes to the first chorus. We've got two measures, the C add nine, a measure of G6, a measure of D with F sharp in the bass, two measures of C add nine again, G7 a measure, or G6 a measure rather, a measure of D with F sharp in the bass, two measures of the G major seven with E in the bass, a measure of E minor 11, and then a single measure, single down strum of that same chord. So the first chorus will sound like this. Next we get into the second verse. Second verse is going to start off with a measure of C add 9, a measure of E minor 7, back to the C add 9, a half measure of G6 and D with an F sharp in the bass, back to C add 9, E minor 7, two measures of E minor 11, measure of C add 9, E minor 7, C add 9, a half measure of G6 and D with F sharp in the bass, a measure of C add 9, a measure of B7, a measure of C add 9, and then a single strum of the E minor 11. So all together, that second verse will sound like this. Next we get to the second chorus. The second chorus is going to have two measures of C add 9, a measure of G6, and a measure of D with F sharp in the bass. And that's going to repeat four times. And you might also notice it's going to have a different strumming pattern. We're just going to be doing down strokes, and we're just going to be doing eighth notes. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, Two more times. Last time. It's going to come out of that and it's going to go back to the original strumming pattern, the up down, up down, up down, 16th notes, and it's going to start with that G minor 7 with E in the bass. It's going to do two measures of that, and then it's going to do a measure of E minor 11 strumming, and then a single strum in the second measure. So coming out of the chorus, Well, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know if there's a song or artist you might like to see me cover. Uh, also, check out the Patreon. For as little as five bucks a month, you'll get a PDF of this lesson as well as a Guitar Pro file that you can play along with. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.